Hello everyone, and welcome to the Quantpedia Explains Trading Strategies video series. Today, we will discuss exploration of CTA momentum strategies using ETFs. Hello everyone, my name is Radan Vojtko, I'm a CEO and head of research at Quantpedia. Today we will discuss CTA strategies. So firstly, what is a CTA? CTA is a short term for Commodity Trading Advisor. Commodity Trading Advisor is an individual or company that provides advice regarding the buying and selling of futures contract, options on futures, etc. etc. CTAs are required to be registered by National Futures Association and the CTAs, they mostly provide managed accounts for their clients. So they act like a small hedge fund, but the client's money are not pulled into one fund, but they are separated on individual accounts. Usually those CTAs or managed futures accounts or companies that do the managed futures trading strategies, they trade momentum strategies. They are highly diversified. We have a lot of momentum strategies that are similar in the nature to managed accounts or managed futures or CTA funds or CTA trading strategies. You can find them via the keyword momentum and via the instrument uh, futures. Today we will discuss how to build the ETF proxy that have like the same performance and same characteristics that the uh, those CTA momentum strategies plus we will try to improve that CTA proxy uh, if you are interested how the original strategy look like I recommend you to go to time series momentum effect which is really available trading strategy at Quantpedia you can learn about it you can read some papers you can review the performance etc etc but today we will discuss CTA momentum strategies which use the ETFs so what is the main added value of CTA funds and they have a very negative correlation with the traditional assets that's the most interesting part of CTAs. That negative correlation is especially important during the periods when there is a downturn or a drawdown in equity markets. And this characteristic makes them very, very good investment option because they can work as a protective measure against the extreme events in financial markets and they are recognized as a crisis hedge during the market stress. It means that those CTA funds and managed future strategies, they received some really substantial attention during and after 2008 crisis, then during 2015, and then during the year 2022, when there was Russian invasion of Ukraine. So during this time, the volatility and trends returned to financial markets and the CTA funds had a really nice performance. In the other times, they usually have like small flat performance. So they really, really perform well, mainly during the crisis. So what we try to do is that we try to build a time series momentum model that had like CTA-like features, but uh, using just ETFs. The reason why we want to build the CTA proxy using ETFs is because it's significantly easier to use ETFs than to open futures accounts. I mean, the data are easier available compared to futures contracts for ETFs. Additionally, we are very, very interested in seeing the contribution of the short leg of the CTA sub-strategies because CTA strategies, they go long and they go short because we have a hypothesis that we can significantly improve the risk return profile of CTA strategies by removing a short leg from some parts of the strategy. We can improve the performance of the CTA index, do not have a lot of the years with the flat performance, with the just few years with the outburst of the performance, we can improve on that and we will see each other how. What is important to note is that the CTA proxy may not provide the same leverage as the futures, but I mean, for the purpose of this exploratory study, it is possible to utilize two to one leverage ratio on the final portfolio, which is easily available via the brokerage accounts, or you can use leverage ETFs to increase the performance. The CTA proxy strategy on ETFs doesn't have the same performance as futures, but you can leverage the ETFs also easily. What are our data? Our CTA universe consists of 30 ETFs traded between April 2006 and February 2023 with the different asset classes. So we have six stock ETFs, three fixed income ETFs, three commodity ETFs, and one currency ETF. What is our methodology? We firstly build the momentum predictor. We combine three month, six month, nine month, and 12 month look period. We average performance over those four periods. And in case the average performance is positive, our strategy goes long the underlying ETF. If it's negative, it goes short the underlying ETF. ETFs are volatility weighted in each group. So we have three groups, the stocks, the bonds plus FX and the commodities. And we weight ETFs inversely in each group based on their past 20 day volatility. And the final strategy then weights three sub strategies, the stocks, bonds plus FX and commodities into the final strategy. Once again, we use the inverse volatility approach. The weighting method ensures that there is a constant risk contribution from each ETF and from each asset class. Because without the volatility weighting, the commodities and equities are significantly more volatile. 
and more risky, their contribution would be significantly higher than contribution of the FX plus uh, fixed income. But when we do the volatility weighting, we will get contribution from each asset class and from GTF that will be proportional, I mean, to each other. And as I mentioned, our objective is to analyze individual sub-strategies of the diversified CTA proxy, long leg, short leg, individual assets. So uh, CTA sub-strategy that's diversified only among the commodities, then CTA sub-strategy only using the fixed income plus FX and CTA strategy using only the equities. So we want to see what is the performance of all the underlying sub-strategies and then we will draw the conclusion and we will try to improve. Firstly, we will build some uh, proxies. So first we will build the long only diversified portfolio. We will buy ETFs and then we will weight them inversely based on the volatility. When the past ETF momentum is positive, and in case it's negative, we do not hold it in the portfolio. We have no position and we omit that ETF. So the performance of such strategy is not quite impressive. It's like three and a half percent, but it has a small deviation, a small maximum drawdown, positive sharp ratio, positive Kalmar ratio. So that's the long only part. If we take the short only part of the CTA proxy or CTA strategy, so what will happen? We are going short when the momentum shows us that there is a negative momentum in the ETFs. We weigh them inversely based on their volatility. And and if there is a long signal, we do not go long. As we can see, the short only leg of the whole CTA proxy has a negative contribution to the overall performance. So we can see that it may help the CTA proxy to perform well in the crisis because the performance is good, especially during the crisis. So in 2008, in 2015, 2019, when there was a Corona crisis and 2022, when there was Russia invasion of Ukraine, there is a positive performance, but you pay and you pay a lot because it has a negative contribution. So we will try to find out if we can improve this short leg. If we put together the long leg and the short leg, we have a long short diversified portfolio. I mean, this is how the usual CTA work. So they combine the long leg and the short leg of the strategies. As we can see, we have the crisis edge characteristics because the strategy is performing very well during the crisis in 2008, 2015, 2019, 2022. But the individual short only sub strategies, they works as a direct on the overall performance. So we will try to find out which asset is the cause for that and we will try to fix the drag uh, and improve the performance because I mean that's that's not a high performance. We will check the individual groups. Uh, we will check right now how the stock investment universe, fixed income plus FX and commodities perform in isolation. So we have a long only strategy in this case. So we go long if you have a positive momentum signal and we do not take the short part of the strategy. So we don't take the short position. As we can see, we have nice performance from the stocks. We have nice performance from the fixed income plus FX and also from the commodities. Uh, we have a positive sharp ratio, positive comma ratio. So I mean, all three parts, the long sub strategies of CTAs on three individual asset groups, they contribute positively to the overall performance of the strategy. Then we check the short only for individual groups, for stocks, for fixed income plus FX and for commodities. Once we take a look on this chart and table, we see where is the problem for the CTAs. We have a positive contribution from the short leg of the CTA strategy for the fixed income and FX. So we have positive contribution for commodities, but we have significantly negative contribution from short leg in uh, stocks. Yeah, of course, when you are shorting the stocks based on the momentum signal, you can have a positive performance during the crisis in 2008, 2015, 2019, 20, in 2022, but you pay a lot to have this characteristic. When you take a look, you have the same contribution during the crisis also from the other assets. So from the commodities, from fixed income plus FX, and they have a positive contribution. So you do not pay. On the other hand, you are rewarded to use short momentum signal on those two assets, but you are not rewarded when you use short only a momentum signal on the stocks. So this is the problem and we can see it. Now let's move on. Here we have a long short strategy or long short sub strategies for individual groups for stocks, fixed income plus FX and for commodities. And here we can see that when we put those charts together, so we have a, a momentum strategy using long short universe of the commodities, we have a positive performance. When we have a long short strategy on fixed income plus FX, we have a positive performance. When we have a long short strategy on uh, stocks, we have a negative performance. All we got from stocks in the long leg, we lost in stocks on the short leg of the strategy. What is our proposal? How to fix this CTA proxy and how to fix the CTA managed futures uh, strategies? Also, from time to time, a short position in stocks is useful as a crisis hedge. It is done at the cost that are too high. 
especially when you compare this short-only substrategy in equity ETF subuniverse to the short-only or long-short substrategies that use commodity only ETFs or fixed income plus FX ETFs. And they are those substrategies are sufficient at crisis hedges at the minimum cost. So our recommendation is to modify the model in the following way. Employ the long short positions for the uh, fixed income plus FX and for the commodity ETFs. However, use long only positions for stocks or for stock ETFs. And this gives us the high Schreiber ratio of all the alternatives. So we have a better performance, smaller standard deviation, smaller maximum drawdown, better Schreiber ratio, better Kalman ratio. So this is our final strategy. It still retains crisis hedge capabilities, still performs well in a crisis, but doesn't have a negative drag from short only positions of equities or equity momentum strategy. As we mentioned before, we have a lower performance and it can be explained by volatility weighting because we use the volatility weighting of fixed income and FX have a low volatility. Our strategy gives significant weight to low volatility ETFs, so fixed income plus Forex ETFs. We have a good diversification, the futures can increase the leverage very easily when they do this kind of volatility weighting. It is not so easy to leverage the ETS, but we still can leverage this basic strategy to use this zero leverage. So we can amplify the returns by using 200% leverage, which is simple to obtain from the brokerage account. And here are the results in the table eight and figure nine of the leverage strategy. So we have 8% return, 10% standard deviation, maximum drawdown at 70%. We have still interesting strategy ratio, still have interesting Kalman ratio, still retain crisis hedge capabilities. If you do not want to use the leverage from your brokerage, you can use leveraged ETFs. I mean, there are a lot of leverage ETFs for nearly every asset class. So for fixed income, for equities, for commodities, and also for FX. I hope that you liked our video. I hope that you liked how we amended CTA proxy strategy. So once again, I want to do the short recapitulation. So we try to explain how the CTA strategies work. You can find the original CTA strategy for futures in our sub page. Here we try to build the proxy using ETFs because it's uh, easier to find the data. Sometimes it's easier to execute. Try to improve this basic time series momentum strategy by removing the short only leg of momentum strategy for equities. And then we use the leverage and we uh, presented the final strategy. I hope that you liked this video. I hope that you will join me in the next one and have a nice day and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Interested? Then pick another video to learn more or subscribe to Quantpedia Pro and try how our analytics and reporting significantly save time spent on quantitative research.